Hey guys! I chose to adopt a stream for my citizen science project. Once a month, I monitored a nearby pond and analyzed its quality using the same tests that we do monthly at the Walton Creek. This data is useful in determining quality of life for the organisms who live in this water, and it gives us a better understanding of the water in our environment. First, I had to get certified through the Adopt-A-Stream program and take a water testing class one night with a bunch of other Wal Walton students. And please note, I was very sick when I took that picture, but after taking a little test, we were certified. On March 13th, joined by Kennedy Casey, I went down to the pond on Hampton Lake Drive in my neighborhood and did some testing. I noticed that it was slightly windy and cloudy that day. The water had no odor and was clear enough to see that some fish, but not clear enough to see the bottom. After doing air temp and water temp measurements, I did the pH test, which was 7.0. Next came the conductivity, and then everyone's favorite, dissolved oxygen levels. I found that I was much more comfortable doing this alone than expected because of all the times that we did this in class together. My second and final water testing took place on April 11th. I noticed only a slight breeze in the air, it was a bit cloudy, and the water was extremely still. I also noticed some debris gathered around the edges of the water. Once again, the pH was 7.0, but the conductivity was slightly lower, and so was the dissolved oxygen level. Overall, here are the results. One of the things that was surprising about this data was that with a lower water temperature, I actually got a lower dissolved oxygen level. Normally, when the temperature of water decreases, dissolved oxygen levels will actually increase. This may have been due to human error, or there may have been some other factors in the environment that day that produced this effect. It was a great experience doing this citizen science project. Water testing helps us determine how polluted the water is and the way human actions impact the water quality. Although there isn't an easy solution to this problem, something that can be very helpful is keeping ourselves and the public informed about this issue. This experience taught me more about water quality and water testing, and it allowed me to get some fresh air outside at that beautiful location. I also realized how applicable APES class can be to real life, because at the certification class, I was surprised that the teacher had us do the exact procedure for water testing that our class does every month. I find it really cool that these monthly water testing days in APES can actually contribute information to the environmental science community, though not only for fun. I also learned that data doesn't always turn out how you expect it to, but that's no reason to disregard it or to alter it. That's just part of the scientific process. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my citizen science project.